Hello my friends, welcome back to Creative Minds. So today we will be creating a talking camera app in MIT App Inventor. So let's see how to do it. So to create this app, you will be opening your Google Chrome browser and just type MIT App Inventor. And now click on the first link. And click on Create Apps. So this is MIT App Inventor's um, interface. So just click on Start New Project. So that you can give your product a name. And now, so here is the place where you can give the name. So I'm giving it as Talking Camera. You can give your app name as anything. So uh, yeah, I'm giving Talking Camera. Make sure you give undis uh, underscore uh, because it won't take spaces. And now click OK. And now your project is created and it has been opened. Alright, so this is the MIT App Inventor interface as we saw earlier and now we are in the designer section the very first component we need to drag is image so it's under the user interface just drag and drop it here all right now i'll be aligning it to center so that it has a bigger image so i'll be going to screen one and just scroll down and you see align horizontally right and just clicking on the options and giving it center and align vertical to center also and now um, go to image so that this is just small and we need to make it larger so I'm going to go to height and set it to full parent and click OK and width also to full parent and click OK and now do you see how big the thing is yes so our image would be visible here and the second component we need to drag is the button. So in the user interface, you see the first option, right? So just drag it here. And now you see this button is not very really interactive, user friendly. So I'll be changing it. Now you just click on this and I'm gonna change the background color to magenta. Yeah, pretty good. And now I'll be going into um, changing the width of it. So just go to width and change it to full parent so it's much bigger right now I'll be changing the text to um, click here or maybe it doesn't suit so I'll be giving it as take a picture yeah all right so better and I'll be changing the text color to white so that it's much visible in magenta color all right mm, it's kind of good now the third component we'll be dragging is camera so just scroll down and in the media you see something called camera just drag it so we use this camera just to uh, take the picture and the image for displaying the uh, image and the button uh, to click on that uh, button to take an image. So whenever we click on this button, we can it uh, takes us to the camera page and after clicking on it, you see the output image here. Now all right, the interesting part is that we'll be having a text to speech, which is our fourth component. So you'll be seeing in the media, you'll be seeing a text to speech, just drag that and place it. So you see camera and text-to-speech is a non-visible component, so it won't be visible in here. Alright, now you might be wondering, why do we need a text-to-speech? Well, text-to-speech is um, just for, you know, telling out the text uh, we have wrote. So I'll give you a brief idea on what this app is. So whenever we click on take picture, it takes us to the camera page and after clicking on OK, we'll be having the result in here. And after that, um, you will be like, uh, you know, um, we'll be having uh, options in the block section so that it takes one, any one, like, um, you know, any options which we give in the block section and it will display. And it will uh, display and say that. Alright, the interesting part is that now yeah, we're going to go moving on to the block section. So just click on the block section here. So this is the interface of block section. So now, you might be wondering what are we going to be dragging, that you'll be going to the button, which is here, button 1, 
and I um, I'd be taking the first option which is when button one click so what do we need to do when button one click aren't you supposed to call the camera to take the picture yes so I'll be calling the camera to take the picture and now we are done with the first thing and the second block is um, we need to uh, go to the camera and when camera after we take the picture so what will it be doing well um, we'll be uh, clicking on the image one and we'll be taking that Im set image one picture two so um, we'll be setting the image one picture and you see the image here I'll be dragging and placing it here so what it means is that uh, whenever like after we take the picture you see the image one I mean the the image over here yes so it will be showing the output there so that's what this piece of block means don't worry guys we'll be adding few things to it and the very interesting part again is the text to speech now click on text to speech and just scroll yeah uh, scroll yeah here it's there so this block is called text to speech dot speak message so after uh, like um, we click on the um, you know take picture and it should displays the image so now what is supposed to do it is actually supposed to say few options which we give here of course guys i will definitely explain this app after we write the code and now i'll be going to the list so i will be having a list of items uh, like list of options for it to say so i will be like choosing few things and the very first thing i'll be choosing is pick a random item in the list so it's going to pick any random item which we give and now we're gonna click on the list again and we're gonna cl um, click on make a list All right so and I'll be going to the text and I'll be choosing the first thing and placing it over here now we have many random like many things in the list so I'll be clicking on the settings kind of option which is in the blue I'm gonna click this and I will be adding um, two more because we have many things. So whenever we add, you see it has been adding over here. Now I'm going to duplicate this one. So the shortcut is Control C. And we, do, um, we copy and then paste for pasting it Control V. Now I will be placing it over here. And now I will be giving a um, few uh, list or strings maybe for it to say. Alright, so now I'll be changing this to, I'll be giving it as, wow, just a random statement, you are amazing, like you can give any other statement, but um, I'm wishing to give this, of course you can give any other, any statement which you would like to, maybe a funny statement, and the second thing is, you are beautiful. beautiful and the third is you're awesome you are awesome and the fourth is you're handsome so these are the um, sentences or statements which the bot is gonna say or the text-to-speech is gonna say so you're handsome right so these are the four statements I have given so this is the app now I it's time for me to explain you this code and what is this app so now you go to the designer section all right so whenever we click on this take a picture it will be going to the camera um, so it will be redirecting you to the camera page so that we can click a photo or photograph and the image will be displaying in the image one this place so now after displaying this image 
it will be saying few sentences so these are the sentences wow you're amazing you're beautiful you're awesome you're handsome so these are the full um sentences or statements it might be saying it might pick a random thing so whenever like we click on um this uh, blogs page which is the mit app inventors page it can it will say like you're amazing or you're beautiful it will say a random thing so i hope you got it this is a very easy and a funny app and now it's time for us to run this code so we're scrolling scrolling up and you see this connect option i'll be clicking on that and click on air companion and now in your android device just open a mighty i2 companion and now click on scan qr code so you'll be having a qr code like this so you're gonna scan that now, so i'm scanning this so it has been connected and the progress bar is running. Alright, it has been connected to my device. So this is how it looks like. As you can see the white space which shows the output of the image and a button which says take a picture. So I'll be clicking on take a picture. So you see, um, I'm going to just click on the white button so that it just you know, scans uh, the um, captures the image. I'm going to click on OK. Wow, you are amazing. Do you see that? It just said, wow, you're amazing. Now we'll be experimenting with two more images. So I'm going to click on take a picture. Right, so I'll be clicking on the button. Now I'm going to click on OK. You are handsome. Do you see that? And now I'm going to try with the last image. I'm going to click on take a picture. So I'm going to click on OK. You're awesome. You see that? This is how MIT App Inventor or the code we wrote, um, you know, merges with all those things. And it just gives a random explanation or answer just random it doesn't know what to pick or we don't know like what it will pick so i hope you got this app and you know now how to make it so that's it for today if you like my video don't forget to like this video subscribe my channel and press the notification button so that you get instant notification from my channel feel free to express your thoughts and comments from the comment section below if you find this video was useful just share it to your friends i'll meet you in my next video bye